Welcome to another video by Ferris Technology. Today, I want to take a deep dive into append queries. Let's keep you out of trouble a little bit, show you the error messages you can get, show you how to get those error messages corrected. So let's get started. So here I have my uh, access database and I've already created an append query, okay? And I've staged some data into various tables to show what can happen. Now, honestly, you can flawlessly put data into a table that you first start by creating with a make table query. And then after the initial make table query and you've built a table, it will take an append query from that same query set exactly as you wrote it, just changing it up here from a, a make table query to an append query. That is by far the easiest way to build a table that you can add to all the time without any difficulty. But in cases where you've got disparate data sets and you need to massage that data and you're adding it to an existing data set, like you're, you're pulling different data sets from the web and you're adding them together in the same table or information from various parts of your company that you need to add to the sales uh, table or other tables within your database. Sometimes you can run into little little difficulties. We'll, uh, we'll work through how to fix those. So when it works normally, you just get a very simple uh, response that says you've appended all the data. I don't need to show you the successful one. You've probably seen that a million times. But what happens when I'm appending and I'm going to append to a, a table that might have a key field pro problem. So if I run this one, for example, it says I'm about to append the full data set, which is 5,999 rows. When I click yes, I get an error message. The error message is very explicit and it's detailed. First, append queries set zero fields to null. Okay, all those work. It did not add six records to the table because of key violations. No records due to lock violations, no records due to validation rules. So do you want to run the query anyway? I'm going to say no, because I, I want to show you what I staged here. What I did is I took in my key field table, as I took the first six records out of the customer's data, and I, I just pasted them in there just to show you what happens when this field right here has duplicate data sent to it. Now this field is the key field. If your key field gets duplicate data in there, it's just going to prevent the data from being loaded into the table. Now, the way to get around that is simply to go ahead and let the table run, let the query run, because you know those records are already duplicated. If, if you just open the table and confirm that those records are already there, okay, I've got six records that are already there, I'm going to go ahead and let the query run and not add those six records, and I'm just as good as gold. Okay, done. So let's look at, look at my next situation. Let's say that I have a table that says that a particular field is required or a particular field cannot be zero length. So I'm going to test that option here. So when I run, it says you're about to append. And then when I say this, I can read through here and it says it didn't add zero, didn't add zero, didn't add one record due to a validation rule requirement. If I click yes, what happens is it'll append all except that one record. When I look at the all data here, I have this record and this record. Now, one of those said that it couldn't be blank and one of those said that it couldn't be zero length. Only one of them got caught up in the error. I'm wondering which one it actually was that, uh, that came through. 76 was one of them and down here 80 was one of them. So let's look over here. Okay, 76 is not there, but 80 is there. So even though this said uh, don't allow zero length, it still loaded the data, which, which is interesting. Sometimes uh, all of your attempts to keep the data clean sometimes still fail and you still have to look at the data. But that's the kind of message you can get in an append query if you uh, stomp on a requirement that the data is not perfect for. 
So let's, let's look at our last option, a type conversion failure. So if I change my append here to the table that has a different type, okay, and I run it, it says, of course, I'm going to append these records. And then it says it append set 5,999 records to fields to null due to a type conversion failure. Well, okay. Um, what field was it? It doesn't actually tell me which field it couldn't do. But if I click yes here and I go look at the data here, I can see that the city didn't get filled in. So then I can go look and edit the table and see that my city somehow got set to a number. Well, I didn't want it to be a number. Of course, a city will never be a, a number. The name of a city? No, it won't be a number. So I'll correct that, put it at short text, and then I'll save the table. I want to go ahead and view this and I'm going to go ahead and purge that data that I had added and then I'm going to rerun the query. So go to query design, hit my run button and there is a success. It doesn't give me any extra errors and if I look at my data with a type conversion error it now fills in the state so I've corrected the error. So as you're massaging data, bringing data in from external sources, bringing data in from within the company and to ver from various sources and systems, you can run into these problems. But append queries and make table queries always have to be done. You've got to bring data in from other systems in order to do the analysis or put it in a business intelligence system or make it available in a data warehouse, situation after situation after situation. And they might not all be in access. You will have these same type of issues if you're in SQL Server or Oracle, Teradata, any one of those big systems will have these same type of issues. So here you have information that helps you to resolve those issues and see what those issues are really talking about. So I hope you liked this. Hit the like button if you did. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel so that I can see you later in uh, ever more videos that I put out. Talk to you later. Bye.